Good afternoon, folks. I'm coming to you from the African Allure Hunting Safaris. Those of you that uh, may be following my channel might have seen on Tuesday I harvested a massive, giant warthog that had huge tusks with a bow. It was an absolutely phenomenal, life-changing experience for me, and I was glad I was be able to I was glad to be able to share it with most of you. So um, today we managed to get the tusks out of that warthog some four days later. And I'm sort of just uh, going to show you a short clip of an unofficial measurement of that um, animal. Um, I hope you enjoy it. For me, it was the warthog of a lifetime. And uh, please, if you like my channel, give me the thumbs up down below. Subscribe to my channel and leave a comment for me. I would like to bring you more videos from my operation here and from the bush felt. Please tell me what you would like to see. And I'll see what I can do in, in making those videos come to you. We're here today to measure this uh, giant warthog of mine. Um, we've got the two tusks. And this has been soaking for some time in the dip tank. And we've just managed to get them out. I have an official tape here that's uh, endorsed by the Sutherland Hunting Academy. So we've got the two teeth. How I measure my stuff. I just try and keep it very easy instead of trying to balance the tape along the edge of the, the tusks is I simply just take it to a table put it flush against the edge, edge of the table then I simply roll the tusk along and uh, we see where the tusk ends up so we just make a mark where the tusk ends up So we're just going to scratch that that you can see it a little bit better. Obviously this is not an official measurement, it's just my own measurement. Then we're going to take the tap. We're going to ensure that it is on zero at the end of the table. And we're going to measure. So 14 and a quarter. Let's say conservatively we're going to be at 14 and a quarter inches. Fantastic. It's awesome news. Then what we'll do is we'll take the second tusk and we will measure the second tusk as well. Make sure it's square with the end of the, end of the table. And we're going to roll it over till we reach. I've already pre-marked this one. So we'll just make that line a little bit clearer for you to see. Like I say, I'm being a bit conservative, so I'm taking about an eighth of an inch off what uh, I think it actually measures. And this one, we're just on 14, well, you can call it 14 even. Probably 14 and 1 eighth, but it's very close. If you're looking at the um, diameter, the one that we've just measured, base of the tusks, put it on zero around the fattest part of the the tusk and you're looking at four and a quarter on that one the first tusk that we measured the longer of the two tusks we're looking at four inches so the bigger tusk is a little bit on the smaller side and that it's exactly the same four and a quarter inches so just a very rough measurement um thanks for joining me so it did turn out to be a monster so folks here is that monster war dog of mine obviously the top teeth are out we've just measured those we haven't been able to get the smaller lower mandibles out yet but we will with time we need to give it a couple of days just to sort itself out to come right but uh, i know it's very difficult to see on the camera but um, these teeth are absolutely razor sharp. For any of those of you that are hunting warthog and uh, you are following up on them, please ensure that you have some form of uh, backup weapon. Um, our warthogs are as dangerous as European hogs. And certainly I see some of these brave characters uh, on TV going down warthog holes after warthogs. I would seriously not advise it. If this guy gets you in a confined space with these very really sharp tusks, I think you're in for a rough ride. Well, I say a rough ride, you're probably in for a trip to the hospital. 
because they will gaff you good and solid.